It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. And it's all up next. From a building that can get louder than almost any in the National Football League, this is GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium. And there, everybody, thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune into. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Heward. We've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who have known for playing a very exciting brand of football, not just the ball the rock, but taking it themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. The pocket passers will have their place, they always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this as a default, a great passer, but someone who can also mix in plenty of rushing yards and keep that defense honest. Set to go is the kicker, Harrison Butker. And we're off from Arrowhead. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. So the Ravens offense taking over for the first time here. And then brought out by the reigning MVP, the second of his career, the best runner in the game, it's Lamar Jackson. Decades before Lamar, it was a guy named Michael Vick that was the standard for dual threat quarterbacks. Well, today, it is Lamar Jackson, who at his best is an MVP caliber player and the most exciting player, not just at his position, but in all of football. And don't let that running overshadow the strides he's made as a passer in the pocket and as a franchise quarterback. They'll run here on first down. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few. He got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. All right, here we go. Second down. Throwing now off play action. Bails out of the pocket quick. Oh, he was on the move. So is the defense, and they take him down. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. First to try to win it, second to try to throw it, and both times you end up behind your own line of scrimmage. Break out the comfortable on the sideline, get everybody a dose of caffeine, because one side came to play, and the other better wake up. Let's see what they went with on third down. Here's Lamar. He's got it. Room to run. And he'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. These little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. The Ravens going to put this away. And here's Jordan Stout to handle that boot. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So here come the Chiefs, sticking the field for their first drive of the game. Leading them out, fresh off a third Super Bowl title. The standard for quarterback excellence today, Patrick Mahomes. This guy, Mahomes. <laughs> How many defensive coordinators have uttered that? This guy, Mahomes. All he's done is raise the bar of quarterback greatness in this league. He led the Chiefs to their fourth Super Bowl in five years. And Kate, this is what's remarkable to me. Just the sixth quarterback ever to win three of them, and he's still only in his eighth year in this league. Sending a receiver left. It's a sweep. He pumps the pass forward. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. Well, no look on his first look of the game. So it's second down coming up. Assignments were tested, and they were ready for it defensively. That's an excellent stop at the line. It's going to make this offense seriously question revisiting that call. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Back now. Pressure on its way. And down he goes. The Ravens defense gets it done. 
And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. All right, first sack on the board on the first drive as a defense. And now, well, now we let the chess match begin. The adjustments begin because we know pressure leads to sacks. And sacks in this league often leads to wins. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. Throwing is Mahomes. That's caught for the first. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Third and 18 kills most drives right, but they find an opening and hit it to pick up the first. You know what I like about that kick? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. We slated downs to approach here from the 40. Here's Mahomes. He's got him. That's Pacheco. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on the defense. Now it's Mahomes. So pass caught by his tight end. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, just find a way to get him the ball. From the 20 on second down. Pass is cut at the nine. And he goes out of bounds after getting them to the seven. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. Okay, when you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. But without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. And they will score! Touchdown, Kansas City! The Chiefs have a great first drive and get the game's first point. Wow, just fantastic work there. Tiptoeing along the back line. The concentration was there. Great catch for six. Yeah, the concentration and the body control. I don't know how these receivers do it in this day and age. There's no space to work with, yet they have such an awareness to secure it first, to tap dance the line, and go get that touchdown. Now Harrison Bunker for the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. fielded at the four-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Ravens offense returning in the field for their second possession. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? This is a three and out to begin this game. Drive starts out with a first and ten. And off headed right to Henry. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. You know, it is so refreshing for these running backs when they have space to run. It's hard. There's so many collisions between the tackles. When they get on the edge and have green grass, you know, the best of them take advantage of it. 
One play in, and already they're close to midfield. He finds Aguilar. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. The big play nets him 17 yards. And that's good for a Ravens first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. They're set up at the 35 now. Jackson to throw it. Andrews with the catch. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Back to throw. Here's Jackson. Aguilar with the grab. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there in the first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. Third and short in your back pocket. You get even more aggressive and take that shot. They send Aguilar in motion left. Still sticking with the passing game. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it on line, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole, but you never want to leave it short. Looks like they will indeed try it. Fourth and two. They'll run for this. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually they do give him the 10-yard line. They went for it and got the four yards they needed, and that keeps this drive alive. <laughs> That's a pretty clear plan of attack by the back from the very start. Found the lane quickly, didn't hesitate, knew exactly what he needed to get to get past the marker. He gets the shot at it on first and goal. And he's able to fight this down to the two. An eight-yard pickup, and now it's second and goal. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. It's second and goal. This offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with the loss and make a difficult fourth down decision. Buckle up, it's third and goal. And he will carry this across for the Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens cut it to a low point on the scoreboard. It's a Lamar Jackson touchdown. They broke out the design, run for him there. Coach just tells him, hey, Brock, KQB, do your thing, get a six. Yeah, and these offensive coaches love this play, and defensive coaches hate it, Kate, because it really gives you an extra hat, right, an extra yeah. number when your QB's got the athleticism, got the legs, got the instincts to go run it in for six. A defensive nightmare, an That's offensive good. touchdown. They can go to the locker room's tied if they put this through. That one right down the middle. And we're all tied up.
Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. Find some space. He's past the 30. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Scoreboard showing sevens on each side. Back to Arrowhead in just a moment. About set for the second quarter. Chiefs football here. They'll get to work here, first and ten. Tight end motioning right. First play, they go quick out to the left, complete. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. Crosses midfield, still going. And he's finally taken down at the 39-yard line. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. Those unsung heroes, those big guys up front on the O-line, well, let's give them a little love right here, okay? They don't always get the attention they deserve on a broadcast, but let me tell you, they played a huge role in that big old run. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Mahomes. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back to throw Mahomes. He'll get this one to Brown. And that will not be enough for a first down. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. Looking to throw on third and one. And that's incomplete. He's going to wish he hung out of that pick there, but it's still going to bring up fourth down. <laughs> I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. you got to secure the pick before anything else. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on fourth. Looking to throw Mahomes. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. They come through with six yards there, Brock, and they're rewarded with a new set of downs. So close to getting off the field. The fourth down conversion keeps that defense out there. That was their shot to end this possession, to sit on the bench, to get their breath. But now they're going to have to buckle down and force another fourth down. Here's Mahomes now. Pass cut, nine-yard line. And they get this down to the seven-yard line. That's a pickup of 17 yards, partner, and it makes it first and goal. I love throwing a first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. He's got it. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Throwing it again here. Has it in close. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs take a second quarter lead. 
So, Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. Butker to try the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1. And make your case for who should get a boost. Couldn't do a whole lot there. Minimal yardage picked up to the 27. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, gets the better defenses in this league. Running left out of the second down option. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A couple yards on the run. It's third and six now. I can promise you that's not what it looked like on the practice field, nor on the whiteboard. Typically, QB run is going to net you a whole lot more yardage than that. But let's give some credit. Strong effort by that defensive front who contained a play that typically goes for a whole lot more. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. As a defense, you've got to see the pass. You've got to time up your hit, and you've got to jar that ball loose. And a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. Here's Jordan Stouts coming on again to punt. Chiefs have Xavier Worthy out for the return. The work begins at the 31, and they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Chiefs and Rasheed Rice readying for a new series on offense. Officially a 55-yard launch. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. All right, the Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. The tight end going in motion right. To the air, Mahomes. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. They gain 14 on the play. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he put the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. He'll throw it. That one is caught left side of the field. It's again at 27 yards to move the chains. 
Not met many receivers in my life that don't love the spotlight, but you gotta earn your place there. Easy way to do it, catch it just like that. Going up into double coverage and making the play anyway. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Throwing now from the gun. Couldn't connect across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. You really want those throws to be like clockwork for your offense. Every team needs to hit passes in that short to intermediate range to effectively move the ball. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Throwing is Mahomes. To rock this offense looking sharpier in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. We see the Ravens making their way out now. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. Started first and ten. Putting the tight end in motion. Now here's Lamar. Gets it to him on the screen. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for a Ravens first down. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get them enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that. I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. We set it down for him at the 38. They go play action on first. Flushed out of the pocket. He takes it himself. And he protects himself with a slide there after a decent game. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on it. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Flying down the middle with Henry. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I don't know about you, Kate, but he sure made getting that first down look really easy. A lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense. I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines. We're to the two-minute warning from Arrowhead. The Ravens in possession. They'll come up first and ten. Shotgun snap, they're gonna throw. Gets this to Bateman. And he'll take it past the midfield strike, but start the push into Chiefs territory. 
That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. It creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Finding flowers. And they get this down to the 28. 16 yards on the play. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. The drive picks up here, first and ten. the shotgun they'll give it to him inside and he'll bowl his way ahead for a four-yard pickup you know that's a good run right there keep the offense on schedule if he can average that type of yards per carry this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show second and six coming up here from the 24 He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. From the red zone now. I tell you what, football's the ultimate team game, but this is a situation where an individual picks up all ten of his guys out there on the field. Somebody else is going to pick up the tab at dinner tonight for him. The Chiefs getting out there on offense one last time in this opening half. And it looks likely they'll carry a two-score advantage into that locker room. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Now it's Mahomes. That's complete. Here's Brown. That's 16 on the pickup. And the Chiefs are going to have first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. Offense set for a first and ten. Here's Mahomes. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. First and 10 from the 41. to the line and they're set first and ten trying to throw here out of the gun well his first real mistake that's intercepted Roquan Smith with the pick and the Ravens get the football back with minimal time to go in our half 
Well, Brock, if you like defense, you are loving what you're seeing right now. Consecutive drives that have ended in interceptions. It's become a real defensive bat. Well, let's see here, Kate. We got one, we got two. Do I hear a third interception in a row? I'll tell you this right now. These defenders, they are squashing that thought. The defenders are offensive guys with bad hands because they're making it happen, taking the ball away. The Ravens in a very good field position as they come up first and ten. He'll throw it. That's taken in by Henry. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on a play. Here comes the final play of our first half. Throwing it just before halftime. He finds the open man there, complete. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit, but first, Time for our EA Sports Halftime Reports. In the first half, we saw some strong play from Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes. He threw a first quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three touchdown half. And he may just be getting started. As always, a hat tip to coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome y'all back for the start of our third quarter. Here's a return from the seven. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Chiefs are out once again. Their offense led by Patrick Mahomes. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. Hey, you go into halftime with a double-digit lead, your number one objective, and they'll all say it in that locker room, it's 0-0 zero, zero to begin the second half. So you want to come out firing the same way you did in that first half? And that kick returner, he took matters in his own hands. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. <laughs> Trying to shake off the interception, he's looking to throw. That pass is complete to Kelsey. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. Move the chains! You gotta move them chains! Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. Back to throw Mahomes. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. A give up the gut to Edwards Elair. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. They motion the tight end over. Complete beyond the marker. And they get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. That play good for 17 and a first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. Man, did he make an impact play. Here's first and 10 from the 34. To the air, Mahomes. 
Pacheco hauls it in. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Defense all over that throw. You could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way, and that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot. Second down coming up. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Running up the middle, Pacheco. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. When one defender failed, well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. Third and 10. Can this offense get it done? Tight end in motion right. Here he is on third and long. Complete out to the right. And he stopped at the 31-yard line. Pursue, pursue, pursue. It's why they do these drills all the time, Kate. You do it through the offseason, do it through training camp, you do them in the regular season. Because when a defense plays with tremendous pursuit, you force fourth downs just as they did. So on fourth down, the Chiefs field goal unit and Harrison Butker headed out. Ball on the right hash, 48 yards out. Thought he had a chance to block it, but he ends up wiping out the kicker instead. And that's going to award their offense a first down. Automatic first down. You hate to see this on fourth down for that defense. Roughing the kicker. Now they've got a first inside the red zone. Working inside the red zone. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. Connect on first, it's second down. Throwing is Mahomes. Jukes one defender. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short gain. I get a win, too. Sometimes, you can get to win-win. So now here's third and five. Looking to throw Mahomes. And they will score! Touchdown, Kansas City! The Chiefs grow the lead coming out of halftime. Travis Kelsey, the touchdown. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, fighting the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate, from John Mackey to Tony Gonzalez to Travis Kelsey. The position can be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. to try the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. on now to kick this one away this one's fielded at the 40-yard line and he's brought down the offense will come onto the field the Raven Derek Henry making their way back out on offense they're down 21 now after that last score and in need of a comeback as we work through this game
set. First and ten. They'll start this series with an option left. It's on the turf. The ball's out. He lost it. And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. Now it looks like one of the Ravens is having some trouble out there and is in need of some assistance. While a new offense preps to head out, we've got a stoppage. They want to make sure this is a turnover. Yeah, pretty bang-bang play out there. It's tough to see exactly what happened on our first look in real time. But you know what I like here, and I do appreciate, and these officials are so good at let the play just play itself out yeah. before calling it dead. Now all the replays and the camera angles will give us such a better idea of really what happened. So the nice defensive play, all for not. He was down first, no fumble. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Takes off right out of the read option. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth cave, but that was not the right read. <laughs> And you hate seeing him absorb yet another hit at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. And Kansas City going to the dot look on third down. We've got six DBs out there. Now it's Lamar. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. And now they're staring at fourth and long. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. Baltimore lined up in punt formation. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And that is where they'll start the next drive. All right, the Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Throwing now from the gun. That's into the hands of Moore. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. That could be a hope deal, and when you fire a curl right, right into his zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there, and there's nothing this defense can do. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 46. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. A 70-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. It sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Play action on first down. Able to get it to Moore. And this one doesn't go far. Come to the line here, second and nine. Here's Mahomes now. Has a man, it's Brown. And he gets.
gets down to the 24 before he stopped. It's a gain of 12 there. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. I'm sure, Coach, the play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Throwing it again here. Completes this one to right. And he gets this forward to the 19. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 19. Got it. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gave 18 on the previous play. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. First and goal. Mahomes. They will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs lengthen the lead at the end of the third. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Butker on now to kick this one away. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. And this drive will start inside 25. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. This, our last play of the quarter. Option design here. And he's got a chunk of yards as we've reached the end of three. Thankfully, only one quarter to play now. We've reached the end of three in this lopsided affair. It's Ravens football, and they'll look for some points here, but might just be too little too late in a lopsided fourth quarter. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Pick up a five on that play. And that's good for a Ravens first down. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end. Because that's their bread and butter. 
That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. Bails out of the pocket quick. Now he takes it. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing he woke up to it, able to make something out of nothing and at least keep him moving forward. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They motion Bateman over right. From the 47. Flushed out of the pocket. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Final quarter. This quarterback's just feeling the need to do a little extra. Try to make something happen outside the pocket. The problem? <laughs> Defense wouldn't let him. They have that same kind of urgency. They want to make some plays of their own before they hit the showers. And they got one right there with that sack. Plays on the table here for third and three. Throwing from the gun here. That's caught for the first. And he's out of bounds after reaching the 40. 16 yards on the play. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things separation and trust because QBs want to throw it before he breaks that's the trust and then they got to believe that that separation could create the big play down the field bails out of the pocket quick trying to get away from the pressure but he can't and they drop him and they're whistling for a stop it looks like that's one of the Chiefs in some pretty clear discomfort and in need of some assistance Second down. Trying again, following the set. Got a man, coverage lost him, complete. And they will score, it's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens take a small chunk off that lead. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Yeah. Period, end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Tucker on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Not really much of an avenue left for a comeback in this one, but they still have to try the onside kick here. And the Chiefs cover up the kick. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. Well, I guess they kind of had to do it here, Brock. Yeah, it's called a have to. Yeah, kind of have to at this point in the game, huh? Okay, but like most things in this game, it did not work out for them. Yeah, let's face it. Even if they do recover that, probably not going to find a way to win. But this is a time where you work on things, where you do build to the following week. Got to find a way to flush this because it's just not been their kind of game. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Ah. 
They'll give this up the middle to Pacheco. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. One thing I can say positive about the execution of that play is at least he didn't go backwards. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Right back to Pacheco. He breaks a tackle. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. It'll be a gain of five. They still need four on third down. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. Looking for Travis Kelsey that time. And fourth and four coming up. Oh, look at those savvy linebackers. They're just right in the middle of everything, aren't they, Kate? And it seems like at times they are the quickest reactions as well. He needed a quick one right there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. A 56-yard attempt. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And the advantage now sits at 24. Get another shot across the bow of a ship that's already sinking here, Kate. He could have made that field goal. Heck, he could have turned around and kicked it directly at his coach because it feels like they've got this one in hand. Gonna be taken in at the eight. Oh, he's shown some burst on this return. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Ravens trotting out their offense. And they're coming off an excellent series throw on the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. The Ravens in a very good field position as they come up first and ten. Now here's Lamar. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Lamar back to throw. That's taken in by Henry. And he'll get them enough for a first down. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, and them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. Here's Lamar. Andrews with the catch. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. The goal of running that drag route is to get it to him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. Picked up a good jump, and there was nearly room to add even more. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. They'll throw it again. Connects with Bateman. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And that's good for a Ravens first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to move in the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Here's Jackson to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. That one intended for Mark Andrews. So that brings up second down. 
Hey, Mr. Quarterback, uh, that's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage was waiting for it. Thinking interception to be had, the incompletion is still pretty good for the defense. Receiver in motion, headed right. Second and ten now. Aguilar with the grab. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. It's a pickup of 11. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. Takes the handoff, now to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. Breaks the tackle, green grass ahead. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. That's the two-minute warning here from Baltimore. Ravens trying to make it look a little nicer on that scoreboard. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Jackson throwing here. This one's caught. And he drives this forward to the six. It's a six-yard gain. That sets up first and goal. There's no question the greatest concern there was just getting the first down. You want a high percentage throw, and you're not really concerned about big yards. Well, the drag route was perfect. He comes open the short field. It's easy to zip that throw right in there and reset those chains. Has it in close. And they will score. It's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens cut into the lead. Mark Andrews with the touchdown. Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and clawing. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a pride drive to go and get your job done. Now the Ravens offense staying put. Look at this. They're going for two. He's throwing for it! And he makes the catch, so hope not entirely extinguished just yet. Still a little glimmer remaining as that makes it a two-score game here late. Oh, it's a favorite of NFL teams and armchair quarterbacks alike, partner. The quick slant. It is so tough to defend that close to the goal line, and this time it works for two. It sure is. It's one of those plays that I think Bart Starr was running in the 60s, that oh, slant route. Whoa. When you incorporate it with the threat of a fade as well, that's when it becomes so effective. But you get inside that DB, you show the quarterback your numbers, and it's almost automatic for a two-point conversion. Well, don't look up at the clock, everybody. That is certainly not their friend as they get set to try an onside kick. And the Chiefs cover off the kick. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. No question they wanted the ball back late, but you don't see many of these recovered by the kicking team in the NFL. You see even fewer recovered when they're actually expecting it like they certainly were right there. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year's over. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. Here's a give up the middle. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down.
It's Pacheco again. And he gets back to the line, but no more. Timeout taken by the defense. They're second. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's going to be on third down. down at the line timeout taken by the Ravens that is their final one that's all they had so the offense free to start running the clock down now the Chiefs looking to put on fourth down so on comes Matt Ariza to handle it So this one goes out of bounds inside the 20, but not by much. They're giving him the 18-yard line. Baltimore running its offense out now. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing now, finds Aguilar. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. Hurry up offense now as time runs down. To throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Offense hurrying to the line with the clock running. Here he is to throw. Got a man open, complete. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. It's a 33-yard gain and a fresh center downs. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. One final shot here. Into the hands of Likely. And he's going to be out of bounds. Looks like a yard or two short of the 25. So score this a win for the Chiefs. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. So for Brock Hewitt and all of our crew, I'm Kate Scott wrapping up another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Chiefs as we say so long from Kansas City.